Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, as you can see, this graph is not too clean, but it does give an idea like what kind of graph you can make. So it's just like a good representation. So we're just going to do this graph one by one in a really easy and simple way. I will show you how you can do that. So first of all, we are just going to tabulate this data. For example, here, I will try to make sure it's short, not too long. So let's see these four data and you can see the legends here. So I'm just going to quickly write down over here and then I'm going to show you. So Sometimes I will just go a little bit fast so that we can save some time. So as you can see, I'm just doing the first step, which is this one. And what I'm doing is I'm just trying to write that right here. So now you can see this is percentage and we can just write it like this 0.32 and 0.31, 0.24 and 0 0.13. So now make sure the sum is one, select them here and you can see the count is one. That is right. Now let's just move this data a little bit down and type something like original. Okay. This shows that this is our main data and this is our uh, data that we need okay so now now we can see that then this 32 transforms like this one transforms to another one which is 74 and 26 so now we are going to write two things so that means uh, industry is using something which is called heat and it is also using electricity which is uh, which is uh, which original numbers are 74 which is 0.74 and the other one is 0.26 so that means this industrial value is being converted to this percentage so if you want to see so we can first of all write original and now we want to see the transform version so we can write something like this so 0 0.74 32 is uh, equals to 0 0.74 multiplied by 32 percent and we are going to click on f4 which will make b2 into a fixed value and we are just going to click here now you can see okay so uh, let me just address this one like this we, but don't fix this one because we want to vary that one so le let me show you what i mean so if you select this one and you click here you will see that this value is automatically transformed from this to this one that means they are taking the values directly so now make sure these twos are these two are equal to 0.74 or oh, these two are equal to 0.32 so as you can see here the sum is 0.32 so now this is transformed to this one now the third circle which is uh, here you cannot see the values directly but i'm gonna write it down for you guys so coal and natural gas so now there's a third category that where is the heat coming from what is the source of the fuel so coal natural gas oil and renewables and the other one is other source which can be bi biomass something uh, biomass renewable or some other sources that's we don't know the source right now so we're just going to write like this so original and transform value so the original value of coal was 0 0.45, then 0 0.30, and 0 0.15, 0 0.09, and 0 0.01. So now let's see if the sum is 1 or not. Yes, it is. Now we are going to do the same thing. This one, multiply by, we are changing the heat one value, right? So just fix this one and now see what happens. So I'm going to do this one and you can see that 0 0.2368 is equal to 0 0.2368. Now we are going to make this graph easily and we're just going to skip it. So let's just uh, reduce this part and just do one by one so that it's not too hard for you guys. Okay, now we are going to make first pi value. So let's uh, for ease and first pi we are going to say first pi is going to be the same which is this one copy and paste. Let's just merge it into center and now let's go copy this one and paste it here. Let's say it's second pi. Now second pi values these three remain the same. But this industrial value is now changed into heat and electricity. So now we are going to paste it here and copy these two values here like this. So just paste it as a number so that because they are a formula and we need to paste them as a number. Okay. So now you can see, guess what? This should be equal to one. And that's true. So just write down here, sum and make sure that when you sum them all are equal to one. So similarly here equals to sum and select all of these so that you know that all of them are equal to one just to be sure and no make it a different uh, problem or error now go for the third pi once you do this now remember this thing is going to be uh, removed and all we are going to use is remaining these three these four okay so now just copy these one first paste them here copy these numbers and then paste them here like this and the remaining part comes from here which is this one okay so copy and paste. I hope I am doing the right thing. Uh, okay. So yeah, okay. I'm doing the right thing. So in this form, 
we just need these ones and we don't need these ones so i will show you how you can do that now let's uh, just go to the uh, uh just keep it here so that we have a reference and we know we are doing the right thing so now let's go to the insert menu and go to the bar and let's see we take a donut but before that first select these ones okay select this first pie go to here and select the donut okay just let's just remove this one and remove this one now we are going to do something which is uh selection of colors but i will show you how to do the colors uh, later on but double click on this one you will see that double click on this one you can see that uh three different options which is paint fill and line effects and series option now what you can do is first of all let's just uh say that we want to show the legends or data labels something like this select all and uncheck and data labels something like this okay don't worry for the numbers and all that we're going to work on that so click here and now we want to choose the 32 over here which is fine now we want to increase the whole size like something like this we want to make sure that our uh, donut hole size is a little bit bigger so now we are going to choose something like this now make sure the background is uh, has no color so shape fill no fill now this is all plain and you can see something like this now one more thing copy all this go to insert menu this one and donut again so now same thing no fail we're going to select no fail and we are going to delete the chart we are going to delete this data and then what we are going to do is we are going to make sure that this is a little bit bigger than this one put it here and now what we are doing is we need just these two so select these ones simply select this one double click and go to fail and no fail similarly select this one no fail select this one and no fail now what you can see is you can see two graphs okay now we are going to make sure that the donut hole size is bigger and we are going to do something like that and then we are going to send it to the back okay now this part is done we are going to do something like this but this looks like it's not too big so we are going to increase the size a little bit and make sure that this looks big also something like that don't worry guys I'm here I will tell you everything so nothing to worry about so like this okay now these two are done let's just copy them and paste them in the PowerPoint first and we are going to come back to these ones a bit in a moment now comes the third one so let's just uh, uh, move them a little bit down or just like this don't mind the arrangement because uh, I'm just making it in a raw form so now just select this one and go to insert chart and donut again now make sure that your this donut comes here so same thing go to format no shape outline okay no shape color so now you this time you have to make it a little bit more bigger and make sure that it uh, connects here and then delete this part we don't need it okay now we are going to make sure that this thing comes a little bit more bigger and covers every part like this now you can see that we can easily cover everything right now but only thing that we need is we are going to cover only this blue part which is the 74 percent so now what we are going to do is we're going to select this one now go here shape options so first select the circle now we're going to change the angle of the circle so this is too big so now we're going to negative part so let's me just quickly move it like this so now you can see we need this part we need the green part we don't need the bigger green part instead we need this smaller one yellow one and we are just going to make sure that this one coincides up till the blue part which is like this okay so 45 percent for the coal and something like that okay so now everything is done what we are going to do is we are going to remove the other parts which we don't need which is this one so go here no fail and go here no fail similarly go here no fail go here and no fail and similarly we don't need no outline okay select all select here and no outline okay papa select here and no outline select here no outline again no outline select here no outline okay now we are just going to co copy the last part which is this one so copy this graph copy them and paste them here okay guys so once you're done with this one you can see that your graph is here and now you have to arrange something like this and make sure that this part comes here and it's big enough and it covers the boundaries and similarly we're going to adjust the second part which is this graph and uh, let's just do one by one so let's just uh, this is the first one 
now let's just make some changes to this one go here and click click on the number first go here number and change from general to percentage now you can have these percentages like this similarly go here again uh, go and click on the numbers again because once you click one number you see now they are all four selected now if you click on one they will be single selected uh, individually so now select once and make sure they are all connected number and go to general go to percentage and make sure you change from two decimals to two decimals zero two decimals to zero decimals increase the size a little bit okay and make sure they are white because white looks more good okay now we are going to change the color also I'm going to show you one by one so first select this one double click and then you go here go to change color options eyedropper and make it a little bit darker and similarly like this one change color make sure you choose the colors that you want something like this you can uh, make a pre-color uh, bar for yourself before you do anything so that it makes it easier for you to choose the colors I normally select the colors from my online source I will show you where you can find out those colors because that helps you and find more uh, more appropriate colors in less time okay so now we are going to work on this part now this part comes like this as you can see that this part is a little bit smaller so we need to make it a little bit bigger so that it is equal and now one more thing which is uh, this graph has outlines we all make sure that they don't have outlines and similarly this graph also has this graph also has outlines make sure they don't have outlines so that it can be more beautiful okay so now as you can see that this graph has outlines shape outline no outline okay and similarly this one no outline and now you can not see any difference right now okay similarly for this one go here data labels click on this data labels now you can see that graph become a little bit smaller if you have data labels so make sure you increase the size again and similarly like this and try to do so slowly and steadily once you do story slowly and steadily it is going to be difficult in the start and I will show you it will become more easier in the later end so it all it's all about practice so once you do it it will become more faster in the next time so click on the click on these ones okay let me just uh, send this one back so that we can easily edit the previous one send to back and this just uh, deal with this one now so go here click on this one number same thing change it to percentage and make sure you have zero decimals okay this is done now let's see the size for this one uh, increase the size to a bigger one like this okay this one is fine change the color okay now just change the individual colors from here go to background change fail this one change the darker one and this one let's just keep it this one this looks more nice okay so now you're gonna go and send them to back okay click here and send to back okay this one is fine now let's just deal with this one copy and make sure you add the labels for standard labels first so that it's easier okay and doesn't have to cope with the other problems and once you are done with this one you can go here okay and increase the size just a little bit so that it's equal and it is well adjusted and make sure it's like this okay now one more thing it looks like they also have outline so no outline okay that's fine now click here go to this one option number and change general to percentage and when you click on percentage click on zero and once you are done with this one what you can do is you can make them white again and increase the size so once you increase the size you will make sure you will note that the one in the white will not be visible so that's good for you so send it to back okay send to back now for for the categories like for example uh, you have these categories and you can see that when you go to data label options more options you will see something over here you say value and separator and number and this one option that in which the value is uh, if the value is lower than certain value you don't have to show that so I'm gonna show you how to do that part so let's just uh, click on this one and bring it to front and what you can do is you can either use a colored option or you can just simply remove them okay so now this looks much uh, better now what we can do is uh, we can make some slight adjustments and slight colors now the time comes for the data labeling so click here and send it to, to the back so this was a tutorial to show you how you can make those graphs easily in Microsoft or anything like that so if you copy this and come over here delete this part and paste them as a picture now you can easily edit them whatever uh, whichever way you want so select them, crop that, 
remove the extra space and choose whatever you want to do and now I'm going to add some uh, modification to this graph to make it look beautiful and I'm going to show you the final version how it looks like so that you can easily use in your presentation. Okay guys, one last thing which I forgot to tell you guys so that you can also get the benefit of that part is that Okay, now you can see that these parts are uh, somehow like look like this and for example Let me just go back to my presentation slide. So you can see that these parts something looks like this, but uh, I guess I have to go back here So let's say that these are my data labels. Okay, so for example uh, Let's just uh, put it here and I'm gonna I'm going to delete uh, these parts I'm sorry uh, I'm going to delete these uh, these graphs just for convenience and I'm going to explain you more properly with the single graph right now so just going to delete this one and let's say we have this graph and I'm going to reset it so that we can have automatic colors and everything uh, let's say we are going to click on pattern fill automatic solid fill no baba okay pattern fill no fill solid fill or automatic okay so now we have automatic colors and let's just bring it back to the original label options and then we can say that uh, go to number change it general and percentage and then we say that we don't want uh, percentage like this okay so now we can see that these numbers are not exactly what we want which uh, ideally should be representing these ones okay so what we can do is that we can select them and select data now uh, there's one option if you click on here uh, go here and then say data labels and then you say more options now they can ask you what does your label contain? So label contains value from cells or series name category value. So select this one value from cells. Now it wants to ask you which value from cells you want to select. So I recommend you what to do is that you select these ones, copy all these ones, copy them and paste them here. Okay. And now what you want to do is for these electricity transport and residential copy from here, copy and then paste them here. But we don't actually want these ones so let's just remove these ones so select this one and now for this the third pie which you can see here now click on these ones now you can see this option go to here value from cells now which value you want now I will say that I want these values okay so now once I select these values you will see that I will have these this kind of way so I'm going to select this one and I'm going to show this one and then what I'm going to do is go to number go to percentage that's right and then I'm going to say zero but right now it looks like uh, it's not being changed but anyways uh, let's say we're gonna make it like 45 and then say 30 15 9 and 1 okay so now you can see that they are exactly the same and they're choosing the numbers from here instead of choosing from the graph so this is something that I wanted to tell you guys and wanted you to know that how you can do this and I hope you guys like this video and watch my previous video to watch them and till then take care Allah Hafiz